between the Buddhist majority and Muslim minority have been simmering for over a hundred years in Sri Lanka. But they erupted after ultra-nationalist Buddhist group Bodhu Balasena, or BBS, gained huge popularity in 2012. In July 2014, BBS members marched into Muslim areas of Alutkama, chanting anti-Muslim slogans and inciting violence. Clashes erupted, leaving three Muslims dead and almost 70 people injured. In just two days, nationalists set over 60 Muslims' homes and businesses on fire and damaged several mosques. A recent fight between a Buddhist truck driver and a group of Muslims ended with the driver's death. And Buddhist mobs killed a man in Kandy and destroyed Muslim property. This led the government to call a 10-day state of emergency, a measure they had not used since the end of a bloody 26-year civil war between the Sri Lankan government and the liberation tigers of the Tamil Elam. It nearly destroyed the nation. Shortly after the British granted Ceylon independence in 1948, Sinhalese Buddhists passed discriminatory laws targeting mainly Indian Tamils who were brought to the island by colonists. Sinhalese was made the official language which drove Tamils out of the civil service. 700,000 Indian Tamils were barred from citizenship and war broke out. The civil war resulted in 100,000 deaths and victory for the Sri Lankan government in 2009. But now, tensions are flaring between Buddhists and Muslims. What are the reasons behind the hatred? Ultra-nationalist Buddhists want Sri Lanka to be Buddhist only, although they already make up 70% of the population. They accuse Muslims of the Islamization of the country and say that the Muslim way of life, including halal slaughter and face veil, do not belong in their society. Anger flared when Rohingya refugees arrived in Sri Lanka. Nationalists led by Buddhist monks even mobbed a United Nations-run safe house for Rohingya Muslims, claiming that they were terrorists and demanding they return to Myanmar. One of the biggest concerns for ultra-nationalists is Muslim population growth. They now make up 10% of citizens with a growth rate of 2%, much higher than any other community. Some went so far as to accuse Muslims of adding infertility pills to the food served to customers. What worries Sri Lankans even more is the lack of a systematic 